Hi, this is Ryan Brown from mockquestions.com. In today's video, we'll be discussing five mechanical engineer interview questions. But before we do that, just a quick disclaimer, these questions are not guaranteed to be asked at your interview. I've pulled all of today's questions and answers from our website, mockquestions.com. Now let's get started. Question number one, what interests you about working for our company? This question is very common in mechanical engineering interviews. Engineers often work in roles where they have a high impact on the company's success. So the company wants to know that they are invested in their success as well. An effective answer will touch upon your interest in the company while also highlighting how you can contribute as a potential hire. One thing that really interests me about your company is a focus on sustainable materials and eco-friendly manufacturing. As an engineer growing up in the 21st century, I want to make an impact on reducing the carbon footprint of manufactured goods. I think that we will have many more recycled and sustainable materials in the future, and I would like to learn more about these emerging fields. In addition, I read about the weekly team dinner events that your company hosts across all departments. Team culture is very important to me as well, and I think this could be a great fit if I'm hired. Question number two, what is your ideal work environment? As a mechanical engineer, you may find yourself working in an office, a manufacturing plant, a machine shop, or a research lab. Work environments also involves other attributes such as the team, work culture, or the resources available at the company. It's useful to consider what you've read or learned about the position thus far to include in your answer. I find myself working best when I am able to collaborate with others to achieve a mutual goal. I think this position in test engineering is an excellent fit for me because I will be part of the research and design group of your company. I enjoy working in laboratory environments because I like to work firsthand with the data being collected. Being able to design test fixtures and collaborate on data analysis projects is something that I look forward to if hired. Question number three, what types of manufacturing technologies have you worked with? If you are interviewing for a design role, then you'll likely be asked about your experience with manufacturing. In mechanical engineering, this is often a combination of software experience and direct experience working with a given manufacturing method. They may ask you specifically about the type of skill for which they are looking. If you have direct experience, then it is useful to start with that. I have direct experience with manual and CNC machining, which I learned in my internships as well as in my university's machine shop. I am comfortable working with SOLIDWORKS 3D modeling software, and I have designed parts for machining as well as laser cutting and sheet metal. I am interested in learning more about other manufacturing methods as well. If hired, I would do my best to leverage these experiences in addition to learning new skills. Question number four, what is a factor of safety and when would you use it? A factor of safety expresses a degree to which a system is reinforced to avoid failure at a given load. In order to have a factor of safety, a system must be able to have a determinable failure point as well as nominal load. For example, a steel walkway with a factor of safety of 4 means that it is designed to withstand quadruple the nominal load without breaking. Using a factor of safety may be a legal requirement in some industries, typically when the failure of a machine would cause loss of life or injury. A factor of safety refers to how much stronger a system is compared to what it needs to be for a given load. I would utilize this when designing a system with a known nominal load, such as a bike pedal arm, to ensure that it would not break during operation and cause injury to the user. I also know that regulations may call for a certain minimum factor of safety depending on the type of equipment being designed. Question number five, how are Lego bricks made? During an engineering interview, you may be asked to explain how a particular product is made. This type of question tests your manufacturing knowledge as well as your ability to communicate the steps required in the process. In the case of Legos, they are a well-known example of the manufacturing process known as injection molding. When answering this sort of question, be sure to clearly identify the name of the process, what is needed, and what steps must be taken from start to finish. Lego bricks are manufactured by injection molding. Starting with tiny granules of plastic, they are heated and pressurized before being injected into a mold. This mold has cavities with negative space that is filled by the molten plastic, forming the shape of the Lego bricks. In order to remove the part, the two sides of the mold are separated and, and ejector pins are used to remove the molded parts. 
Finally, the parts are cold and sorted into kits to be packaged and sold as Lego products. Thank you for watching. If you want more mechanical engineer interview questions, then head over to mockquestions.com today and get started. Thank <laughs> you.